Hold up. What is up, YouTube? Big C7 Cards here with a second installment of Opening the Vault, where I show off my PC. I open the vault, show you what's inside. Uh, I know you guys are thinking, where in the world has Big C7 Cards been? It's been a couple weeks since I posted a video. Well, I've got some pretty cool stuff coming in the mail, but uh, USPS is taking their jolly time to get it to me right now. So until I get everything, you know, I got a few things in the mail, but I left them in the packages. I want to wait until uh, I get everything because it's going to be one banger of a video. So I'm waiting on that. So hopefully by the end of the week, I'll be able to drop the big time mail day video. Uh, additionally, I've got some exciting plans for my, for my Instagram page. So make sure you check me out at big C seven underscore cards uh, on Instagram. Make sure you like and subscribe as always and uh, let's get right into it so I've been collecting Dwayne Wade since uh, he entered the league in 03 uh, I watched him play a little bit a little bit in Marquette but I wasn't uh, I wasn't didn't pay too close attention until he got drafted fifth overall to my Miami Heat since then oh man uh, just it was 13 years of amazing basketball then as you know we went to the Bulls had a stint with the Cavaliers and then came back to finish out his career spent two more years with us 15 years of impeccable basketball and so uh, I'm a huge fan obviously got all the memorabilia in the back and this isn't even it I just took some stuff to kind of fill in the background and I've got another big time beautiful what's up Invicta watch box with my main collection inside of it uh, I wanted to show off some of the side pieces first before I got into that, so without further ado, let's take a look at my collection. Uh, recent pickups, actually. I got these uh, first year prism of D. Wade. I got the second year select prism. I think that's uh, 2014 prism. Basically base, but those are some recent pickups and another recent pickup this one actually is for sale if anyone's interested a 2003 2004 tops collection Dwayne Wade rookie card uh, I'm asking 50 for it that's under comps right now so if you're interested hit me up on Instagram in my DMs and uh, I accept PayPal and we can work out a deal if you're interested so I'll leave this right right here so y'all can ponder it while you're looking at my video boom think about it another thing I got most of my smaller wades inside of this little tin. I don't know if you guys remember this. You got to be really OG to remember this. Back in uh, OG retail days, uh, Walmarts used to have these tins. I think they were $20 a tin. And it came with like 500 cards inside of here. And they weren't protected at all. They were just tossed in there. It's like the, I think they, they was Fairfield who did the reboxing on this. But the tin has stood the, the test of time. I'll tell you that. I've got a couple of these and I use them for everything. So, and what's crazy is you can't find them anymore. Um, yeah, so th these definitely were good pickups. Inside of here, a lot of inserts, a few rookies, numbered cards. Uh, let me see, where does the Wade end? Because I've got my other PCs in here as well. A few other things. There you go, stops with the Alonzo right there. All right, cool. Let's take a solid look at my collection here. 2003-2004 Victory Rookie Orientation, D. Wade. Big Signs, Rookie. I am going to give you guys the pleasure of seeing it opened up because these are actually really cool. Opened up. There you go. Rookie, Fleur Patent, Platinum. Big signs, D Wade. Uh, I have pictures of this one. I should be posting it online soon. Actually, I used to, I usually like to post the pictures of cards on my Instagram page after I do the video on them. So uh, expect a lot of D Wade cards to pop up on my Instagram page uh, after this video. Oh, this is another one I got to open up for you. This is the game ticket. 7 15 from Fleer again, 2003. This is another rookie. And right 
there. These are beautiful. They're, they're very hard to keep in good shape, but as a collector, they're just a really fun to have, man. Um, so I, I made sure to pick that one up. I got this at a card shop in Orlando. I gave him a plug last time. So in my last video, I actually did show off uh, um, this one card shop in Orlando that I go check out when I'm over there. So make sure you check that out in my last video where I had a crazy mail day, including a Trey Young rookie silver and a Jason Tatum optic red yellow rookie. Keep going, Decade of Dominance from 2011 Limited. I'm telling you, man, this it does not do justice. You got to see this one in person. This one is numbered out of 24. Pretty cool card. Core Kings Portraits with the canvas print, canvas finish, numbered out of 175. Road to the Finals NBA Hoops, numbered out of 2018. When we took out the Sixers, 113 and 17, uh, 113 and 103. <clears throat> second year, Wade. I think it's the second year. Uh, bu -bu this is considered 0506. So third year, Bowman. Picks and prospects, gold. That's a thick one. Fireworks, silver. Winter stays. This is one of my favorites for Wade because it kind of it has that vice vibe to it, and he's got the NBA Finals jersey on. Beautiful with the trophy on the jersey. It's like this this set was made for Miami Vice. It really was. That the Vice jersey to Vice design. 08, 09. Russell Westbrook's rookie year. <laughs> this is the gold version numbered out of 2008. I remember that year like it was yesterday. You know, when we drafted Michael Beasley, when we uh, could have had Russell Westbrook. <laughs> Hey, you know, whatever. 2018-19, Prism Silver, base. This one's hard to find. 2006-2007, Top's Finest Refractor. That was the year where they did the, uh, the XRCs of the 2007 draft class, including uh, KD and uh, <coughs> Greg Oden. Sorry, guys. Greg Oden was... Uh, his... Didn't work out. Crusade, Miami Heat, D Wade, 2014. And beautiful 2007 2008 Tops Chrome Wade base. I'll run through these a little quick so I'm getting into the, the inserts. I want to get to the big stuff. Hall of Fame contenders, D Wade. Highlights. This is actually one of my. All right, I, I'm sorry. I have to stop on this one. This commemorates his farewell game on April 10th, 2019. I watched that game. I have to admit, I teared up a little bit uh, for various reasons. But you know, since ever since I was what? My gosh, I, I was. I'm 24 years old now, so I would have been seven years old. Yeah, seven years old. So ever since I was seven years old, all I've known is is D Wade in the Heat jersey. So when I when it finally hit that that was his his final game, I'm just gonna run through these. I'm not necessarily gonna say what they are, but you see what they are. When I realized that that was his final game, when it finally hit, that was uh, <laughs> that was something that I had to internalize because uh, you know it was just something big was was changing. You know, so. Yeah, that, that was definitely a day that I remember. Team MVP, 20, uh, 2008. Upper Deck MVP, that was a fun pack to open back in the days, those retail packs. Obviously, I'm a retail warrior. I've barely opened, I think I've opened one hobby box in my entire life. Uh, I do mostly uh, retail. 57 variations from 07 Tops. Got two of those because they're just cool, of course. I actually have uh, another one of this. This is that's autographed. That's uh, a promo from the Hawaii Trade Conference. You'll see a little bit later. Snapshots, D Wade, another 0708 Fleur Ultra. Own the game, D Wade. Competition from Tops Total, 
one of the cheapest sets in history. <laughs> that and uh, Upper Deck First Edition. Some cheap, cheap, cheap sets. <clears throat> the Magnet, D Wade from 05 Bazooka. 0506 Bazooka. I, I had that on the fridge at one point. <laughs> I, I legit have the, had this on my fridge at one point. Yeah, Flash is brilliant in Miami. I always I always love these, reading through them. Base optics in the Cavs jersey. I, I was never getting used to Wade not being in a Heat jersey. I, I just wasn't. When he, when he came back in uh, uh, was 2017, that right there, uh, that was that was a, a, a sight for sore eyes. Contenders, 12-13. Classics. Tops, SP. Nice set. Another uh, uh, picture. Actually, I think that's a picture. If I'm not mistaken, this was taken... Actually, this this looks all wrong to me because this is 0708 and this picture was this picture clearly was taken while he was in. Oh, I think I know what, what it was because that that ball was not being used in the 0506 NBA finals when when they won when we won our first championship. That ball was not being used. That was used the next year. So I think this has to be a picture from the first game when they came back. When they played the Bulls, and they got actually, if I recall correctly, when they got their rings, the first game of 2007 or 2006, 2007 season, they got blown out by the Bulls. Guess what, Squidward? We stink! <laughs> oh, yeah! Yes! yes. Oh, so I stink! I and it was, it was embarrassing. But I think that was when they first started using those balls. It didn't last too long. I forget what they call them. But uh, uh, yeah, they uh, they had the the Vince Lombardi trophy. <laughs> Vince Lombardi. They had the Larry O'Brien trophy on the jerseys for the first game when they got the rings. So that has to be that. I never realized that that it, he was using a, a different a different ball. Skybox Le. Second year or four or five, I think we're all in all second year cards now. Yeah, <clears throat> Fleer genuine. This was back in back in oh four oh five. They had some banging sets. The sets were beautiful. Like look at this. Like freaking authentics. You know, Fleer was killing it with the authentics and the sweet sigs. Sweet sigs is is just the textures on the card, the 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 embossment. It was just beautiful sets. Fleer and uh, Fleer killed it really because Fleer's NBA hoops too. NBA prospects, just beautiful sets. One, some of my favorite sets that I that I've ever uh, uh, ripped open. And that, I think, is all of the inserts. Yeah. So that's all the inserts. Now we get to the fun stuff. Uh, this is uh, where I keep the good stuff. Inside of here contains pretty much all of my weighed eBay sniping. <laughs> And because uh, I didn't pull any of this, I don't have that pack luck. I really don't. I'm gonna run to the first row like that and close this back up. So we're gonna do the first row first. There, wanna see me while we do it? This I think is the last one that I got. This is a Grand Reserve Cornerstones. 19 out of 35 quad patch on card auto with the Bulls jersey. As a Heat fan, it yeah, it, it kind of, it kind of annoys me that it's in a Bulls jersey, but as a Wade fan, I I knew that as he grew up, he he always, you know, Michael Jordan was his favorite player. He always envisioned himself playing on the Bulls, and obviously, he's a Heat, you know, he's Heat for life, but he got a chance to play on the team that he always wanted to play on. He got to play for his hometown team. So that means something, you know, to be in, to have a, a card of him in a Bulls jersey, a big time card, like an, like a, a quad patch auto, uh, especially from Cornerstones. That's, that's something that uh, definitely means something. 
I'm going to get into, oh my gosh, I got four case hits in a row right here. Four case hits in a row. White Sparkle from both of Wade's final years in Miami, 17, 18, and 18, 19. Spectra, White Sparkle. Case hits. Another case hit, United We Chant, Spectra, Silver Hollow. That is from 1819 as well. I think there's actually a Luca of this, which is ridiculously priced. <clears throat> and from Absolute, Absolute Glass. Beautiful. See right through it. These actually grade pretty well. I consider grading it, but I'm just, I don't know. I'm, I just, I can enjoy it the way it is right now. I'm not going to be, it fits in the box. If I get those graded, it's not fitting in the box. <laughs> And uh, so it, it, it makes sense to, to leave them raw just for my collection. But, uh, but yeah, grading them would be nice. 0304 Rookie Exclusives. Jersey card. And this is back in the day when rookie jerseys actually meant something. You have received a Dwayne Wade event-worn jersey card. On the front of this card is an authentic piece of jersey worn by Dwayne Wade at the 2003 NBA rookie photo shoot. It, they're specific. Take notes, Panini. They're specific. <laughs> they they let you know what you what you're holding. If if you get a card and you're like, oh, that's a jersey card, but it's upper deck or tops, you're gonna be able to read the read the back of the card. And it's gonna say, no, no, it's not a jersey card. It's a piece of game worn shorts. It's a, or it's a piece of of the uh, um, the warm up gear. You know, it's gonna be clear. You get a Panini jersey card. I have no clue where that piece came from. It it, it could have it could have been it could have been from anybody. It just says that it was player worn. That's it. And I know I I'm not gonna get into it because I know that's a that's a pet peeve of pretty much everybody who collects at this point. We don't really have a choice. But it still warms my heart to see the the congratulations and the the whole the whole schmeal on the back that that upper deck and tops always gave for their their jersey cards. It was just it was good times, you know. This one is an absolute gem, uh, perfect condition. It's it's can be graded right now if I wanted it to. Uh, rookie gems from 0304 Black Diamond, Dwayne Wade rookie, beautiful card, absolutely impeccable condition. Like I I've I looked this card over many many times. The surface is great, the centering is great, the edges and corners are immaculate. Beautiful card. We are run one row down. Let's look at the, oops, I got this upside down. Center row. And by the way, if you're interested in these Invicta watch boxes, you could find them similar to this, not the same color, but you could find it similar to this on eBay for about $25 each. I would I would definitely check that out because all you got to do is take it, you know, uh, cut out the uh, the uh, styrofoam that it comes with, and you got yourself a fantastic card holder. So definitely look into that. And let's get into the center row here. O three O four flare final edition rookie autograph numbered out of two hundred ninety six of two hundred. I got this right before the prices hiked on Dwayne Wade uh crazy cool rookie auto good luck trying to find a rookie auto right now of D Wade for uh under budget and this is the one I was talking about guys this is actually ignore the terrible centering okay ignore it because this is extremely rare 14 out of 25 hand numbered and I know it's a sticker auto but this was a promo item that was given out at the 2007 uh, Hawaii Trade Conference, which took place in my backyard, Fort Lauderdale, Florida, in 2007. They don't do Hawaii Trade Conferences anymore. When I, when I got this card, I looked up on YouTube what a Hawaii Trade Conference would look like. Man, that was dope. That was crazy cool. I'd, like, I would want to go there. I don't care how much it costs. It was like, it was like, it was amazing. There were tons of giveaways and they were showing new designs on cards. Like this was this was this was a promo item. Like the, you you would have gotten this before 2007 tops even released, which is crazy. 
And even now, it's crazy rare. You can't find it. I found maybe one or two pop up on eBay in the last three years. And that also goes for this one, which was actually the marquee card or one of the marquee cards along with the Larry Bird Auto on 2005, 2006 tops. It was on the box, this, this card. You know how they say, you can pull this Dwayne Wade Auto. This was the one you could pull. And so I was definitely excited to, uh, to grab this one. Uh, Marks of Excellence. Tops pledges to bring you closer to the game and its leading players. There's always so much... There was always so much verbiage on the back that made you feel like, yeah, I, I pulled something special here. Something special just happened when you pull a card out of the pack and you're able to read like a whole congratulations on the back. It's just, it's, it's, it means something so much more than just a tiny little blurb on the bottom. Good times in collecting. I think this is a second year as well. This is big time. Flair Genuine. I got this because it is actually numbered 10. Pretty low number, 4 of 10. Actually, give me one quick sec because I am running low on battery here. Let me plug up my phone while I'm doing this. Alright, we're back. So thanks to my phone running out of battery, I'm going to uh, have some editing work to do. <laughs> Uh, next card is a, oh man, this patch just gets me every time. A chunky, chunky patch with the number three fabric of the game from 2010, 2011 certified. Oh, beautiful. And this is actually a Panini card, but guess what? It says right there, the enclosed game worn material is guaranteed by Panini America because they stopped the whole game worn thing for most of their cards. Even high-end cards, this number out of 20, which is crazy rare, uh, they stopped that uh, shortly after this. Obviously Prime. They have, don't have to say Prime. I see that's a Prime patch. Beautiful card. See it in a light. I'm going to be taking pictures of this one for sure. Uh, I don't know if I have pictures of this one already. I think I have pictures of every, everything else except what was in this box. Uh, I'm definitely going to be taking pictures of this and putting it on my Instagram page. So... Be sure to check that out. Fleer Patchworks. This is a rookie jersey. Uh, it says Game Worn Jersey, which is crazy cool because this actually is 2003, 2004, which means that this is actually a piece of the jersey that Dwayne Wade wore in his rookie season, which carries just that much more meaning to a Wade fan. So for sure, I had to pick this one up. Fleer Patchworks by the numbers. Beam Team with the classic 1992-93 uh, design. That's a jersey card, a D Wade. That is 2007 with the laser beams on the side. Cool stuff. And D Wade Shaquille O'Neal dual jersey, numbered out of 200. Congratulations. It feels special, doesn't it? <laughs> it feels special. It feels like something good just happened. That is from Top's first row. Pretty cool. And now, guys, we've reached the final row here. And then I will show off that one in the back over there that you've been staring at this whole time, wondering, is he going to talk about literally the best card that's... He already showed us the best card and is sitting right in front of our faces, and he hasn't talked about it yet. I will talk about it, guys. Don't worry. Final row. I'll put all these away off camera so that I'm not wasting your time. Boom. Okay. First up, hardwood commemoratives. Dwayne Wade. I would I'm gonna call I'm gonna call it. I'm gonna call that an on-card auto. Even though it's on the piece of wood, uh it's not like a piece of paper in the card. It's it's not it's it's just it's just cool. <laughs> it's just freaking cool. Um these are hard to come by, and uh, they rarely pop up on eBay. I actually got this from uh, a guy on Facebook that I hooked up with. Um, just hard to get, man. And it's hard to get in good condition, too. Usually what happens is the the piece around the wood, or the card around the wood gets damaged, and so finding it without that damage is crazy rare. 
So I would I would I would put this I would put this a little higher than the other ones that have sold on eBay recently. How about this one? Final year Wade printing plate from Contenders 2018-2019. I love the way they're doing the printing plates now. It used to be where it was just you had the printing plate on the front and on the back it was just that that nasty looking silver back with nothing on it and then just a sticker that said you've received a printing plate and it's a one of one now you have the design on the back and it's actually printed with the information that you would see on the back of the card like that to me makes this feel more like a genuine one of one to me than having something that's that's different than that it's just it's just uh it just means more i know i'm actually uh talking a lot more about how it means than about the card itself but you know as a collector you know that's important stuff this is an actual printing plate used in the manufacturing of this card it says right there yeah and that's pretty cool that's pretty dang cool one of one from his final year as well this one was so odd i had to purchase it and it turns out it's extremely rare and hard to find dress for success tops finest dwayne wade Authentic player worn dress tie. Yeah. What will they think of next, right? A dress tie. I just think that's crazy cool. And it says on the back, let's see, where where did he wear it? Did he did he they, I don't think they make any uh any claims on oh, it's number 99 by the way. I don't think they make any claims as to uh where he wore it. Like that would be cool if it was like he wore it at the the SPs that year. Or he wore it at the 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 NBA honors. I know the NBA honors didn't start it this year, but you know that would be pretty cool. You've just received an authentic dress for success player worn dress tie card of Dwayne Wade from 0506 Toss Finest Basketball. Yeah, the material features on. Oh, I never read this one. The material featured on his card was acquired directly from Dwayne Wade. So how does how does that work, Tops? Like you send you send a uh, you send a, a a dude to Dwayne Wade's door and they're like. Hey, um, can we go through your closet? That can, yes. Okay, good. We thought you were gonna say no. Like that's 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 low key creepy, creepy. But I'll I'll take it. I'll take it. Tops, good job. Way to way to uh, go the extra mile for your collectors. <laughs> Certified. I got this one with Panini points, by the way. That was before everybody cleaned out all the Dwayne Wade cards on uh, Panini's rewards site. This is from 0910. Uh, certified Steph Curry's rookie year. Not that that really matters, but it's just I always think about the rookie years at the time, numbered out of fifty. I always think about the rookie years at the time of cards that I pulled or had a chance to to get packs of, because it just blows my mind. Like back in '09, what was I doing? I was not buying tons of packs. I wasn't, and they were available. I bought one pack of of tops from Target, and I pulled a Steph Curry rookie. And didn't even know who he was at the time. And I think a lot of people really didn't. You know, he wasn't expected to be, you know, who he is today. But, you know, one pack. Imagine if I opened more packs. A jumbo box of two, a jumbo hobby of 2009, 2010 tops was nothing at the time. I could have gotten multiple of them for maybe $100 each. Now, good luck getting it for like three grand each. Holy moly! It's crazy. Uh, continuing on, I've had this for a long time. I got this as a birthday present, actually. Dwayne Wade, Kirk Heinrich, Jersey Authentics, dual jersey out of 160. That's a second year Wade as well, 0405. Hot list. There's a crazy story behind this. I lost one of these. I don't know where, I don't know where it is. I keep all my cards, like, really in spots that I, I can't possibly lose them. At some point in my life, I lost this card. This was another one that I got as a gift, but then I lost it. And I couldn't tell. Did I sell it? Did I did I did I forget it somewhere? Did I even take it anywhere? I, I couldn't figure it out. But then I walked into that card shop in Orlando and there it was sitting right there. And I'm like, uh, sold. I have to have it because I had to have it back. So this was like a prodigal son moment <laughs> for cards. <laughs> you know, my my uh my son came home, you know. Game worn jersey swatch, hot list, D Wade from Skybox, NBA Hoops, second year. Top flight, Excalibur, jumbo jersey. Not numbered, I didn't think that one was numbered. 
And this one, man, the, some of the most, auth not authentic, original card design ever was Turkey Red. And also the most uh, original name to give a card set, Turkey Red. I, I never I never looked up the, the, the purpose or the reasoning behind that naming, but these were all cool. The whole, the whole set was based behind some like like rural uh uh like an inner city backcourt like you know you you just you're just walking through and you see a basketball court there and it's all worn down but you know that some nba stars you know uh played on that court like ruckers or like th that's that's the vibe you get from these cards and, and they they kind of just just uh um put action shots of the players on those courts it's just crazy cool and they, they did the same thing for the jersey sets so this one was d wade from 05 and the back is just just like original man <laughs> the back just takes you back into the 50s and 40s another congratulations centering's off but hey you know when you grow up you notice these things as a kid you're like oh my gosh a jersey card and you grow like five years older and you're like that centering is terrible <laughs> but uh don't really care too much on a pc card but that's from 2006. It should be 06. Did they make Turkey Red back in? Yeah, this is 06. Okay, because I remember this was LaMarcus Aldridge's rookie year. 05, 06. That was LaMarcus Aldridge and Rajon Rondo. All of that. So that right there is the gist of my Wade card collection. And I promised one more, that one sitting in the back. And I'm going to show it to you right now. This one right here is the biggest card that i own this has recently sold for around two grand and i was very tempted very tempted when you see a card you own sell for two grand or close to it you, you have to wonder maybe it's time to let it go <laughs> but um i i fought back those urges as stupid as they as that sounds and uh i'm trying to hold on to it because this is probably the biggest pc card i own uh nine fives all around except on the surface so this could probably even grade higher probably get a psa 10 if i cracked it and sent it back out i would have to crack it clean it and send it out um i'm sure a lot of other people would do that i'm totally happy leaving it in the case because bgs looks a lot nicer slabbed uh, if i break this and send it to bgs it's going to come back a nine five but i might get nine fives all around but it's still going to come back as a 9.5, so I'd rather leave it in the case. But yeah, this is the big one. 2003-2004 Topps Chrome Refractors, Dwayne Wade Rookie. Yeah, this is the one with the refractor under the famous 115 draft, New York 03. With the fifth pick in the 2003 NBA draft, the Miami Heat select you-know-who beautiful card beautiful yeah i really doubt that this one is going to be leaving my collection anytime soon that's my Dwayne wade collection i also have an autograph ball in there i will throw in a picture of that right here and um that i got as a graduation present from my parents so thanks mom thanks dad for that one <laughs> Uh, I've got a lot coming, guys. I got a lot on the way on my Instagram page on here. You guys know, like I said, I've got a big mail day coming, and I'm going to make that a, a pretty impressive video because I'll have like eight or nine different packages that I look. I did look inside the packages. I had to, guys, because I had to. I had to give these uh, these uh, eBay sellers their reviews, and you know how eBay sellers love their reviews. So I had to look at them just to make sure the condition is good, um, but I'm still waiting on a few of them. And once I get everything in, translation, once USPS gets me what <laughs> I paid for, <laughs> then uh, I will be able to uh, give you guys another big time video. Uh, soon I'm going to be showing off my Devin Singletary collection, which yes, is going to be even longer than this, but I try to make it entertaining for you guys. I try to make it interesting. Um, and I try to think of different ways to uh, to get you guys involved. And uh, very soon, you're going to be seeing the fruits of that. So uh, stay, in uh, stay in touch. Stay tuned. Go check out my Instagram page, at Big C7 Cards. Again, like I said before, this guy's for sale. The 2003-2004 Tops Collection, D-Wade. 
So uh, hit me up in uh, Instagram DMs if you're interested in that. And uh, make sure to like and subscribe. Thank you guys so much. Have a great day. Wait. Hold up. Yeah. Yeah. I got a God. Don't change with the season. Ooh.